What's up party people? You guys looking for a fast way to set up your subwoofers and your tops? Today we're going to be talking about my subwoofer pack. Uh, let's get it! What's up party people and welcome back to the channel. I'm Gerald, excited to share with you all once again. Now in the world of DJ sound or lighting and stuff I do in entertainment industry, I have created over time different packs of cables harnesses or some kind of system that makes my setups and breakdowns very fast efficient and keeps the stress down because i can easily find myself doing repetitive things or sometimes unique and very dynamic things and i'm able to adjust accordingly by having some kind of method and system and one of those ways that i'm effective at what i do is by creating harness that either bridge two systems together or in the case of this video i'm able to effectively use a pack and a harness as a part of the pack to get my subwoofer top and mini kent to set up very fast very efficient and break down even faster so let's get into it all right, party people, this is my famous red bag that Chuck always makes fun of. But you know what? I love you, man. But look, inside the bag, and I'm not going to go into all the details. This video is not about this. But basically, in the top of it, though, is where I keep my two subwoofer packs. Because obviously, I'm setting up two subs and two tops all the time. So I'm going to take out only what I need for the video. And then, of course, uh, on this side, I got some other cables on top, which are pretty much two XLR cables and an extra power strip, just in case. And too many Kentas, obviously, right? There's other stuff, but again, blah, blah, blah. So... I'm going to take out this mini Kenta and I'm going to use that for today's demonstration. And of course, everything else is going to go back inside that I don't need for the video. So there's the other subwoofer pack. And the one I'm actually going to use here is right there. Let's get to work, peoples. So here's the deal. Everything in this harness is going to be used to include the Velcro strap that's on it to hold it together. So I'm just going to put it there for now. And here's basically the breakdown. I got this power strip right here and I have a harness that bridge from the subwoofer up to the top speaker. And I also have individually a short and custom made cable for the subwoofer so here's what that subwoofer and top speaker harness looks like in all of its glory and of course on this end we have power into the back of the top speaker we have power into the back of the mini kenta and i have audio into the top speaker now that's generally uh tied together right here with a velcro this also serves as a marker to where i'm going to put my mini kenta on the old clamp you'll see later but other than that everything is velcroed like every few inches or so till it gets down here now because the power cable for the speaker is really long i just kind of looped it a couple of times and put some extra velcros there just to keep it in perspective but of course the mini kenta and the speaker gets plugged into a power strip and this audio cable here comes out of the sub up the harness into the top speaker so now let's go ahead and put it all together one of the first things i usually do is screw my pole right into the subwoofer right there making sure it's generally tight so I wiggle, turn, and everything's good. And then of course I can take my top speaker and put it right on up there on the pole, just like so. Very simple, very easy. So with this harness, one of the first things I do is make sure that everything's turned down here and the speaker's off. So I'm gonna just go ahead and connect my audio in right there. And of course, here's the power, really simple. Now this Velcro will serve as a marker. I put my mini Kenta right underneath it like so. And here's the deal, with these O clamps, especially uh, whatever size that is, I don't really remember, um, they generally go on a regular size truss. I don't know what that size is, but I know when it comes to these speaker poles right here, this thing will literally on its own, no matter how tight I get it, it will slide down the pole. So what I found at some point that I used to put Velcro around to keep this in place, but now the cables serve as that gap filler. So once I get this wing nut around on here, the uh, cables hold that really good. So all I gotta do is tighten it down to a you know, nice comfortable tightness and not so much where it's like totally crushing these cables, but where the mini Kenta won't fall down the base of the pole, right? So I feel pretty good about that. And the next thing I gotta do is power up the mini Kenta. 
Now the rest of the setup is super simple because at the base of the subwoofer, I'm gonna put that right there. And then of course, at the base of this pole, I'm gonna take that Velcro that I took off to hold all of this stuff together and just you know, manipulate the cable and put it right there at the base. So I'm gonna get this around here really tight and then I can uh, make sure that my cable run down the pole is really nice and tight. So from anybody looking at this from any view, you really have a nice, neat setup. As you guys can see from the side, it's boom, streamlined. So it's held together up top with the clamp, but held together on the bottom with the Velcro. And that system is very, very effective. In the back of the subwoofer, things are really simple. So let's go ahead and just like put a quick loop in this cable. Now I could cut this short, but here's the deal. Sometimes if I'm coupling two subwoofers together side to side, and I was to say, plug this in here because it looks cool. Well, when I couple side to side with a power strip in the back, then it's like, uh, I can't reach the power strip, right? So I just kind of decided on this length of cable, but I may make it a little bit shorter. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So here it is into the power strip accordingly. The rest of the harness that came from the top speaker, they all have to be plugged in. But before I do that, I want you guys to see, here's the audio out of the subwoofer. So that's what goes up to the top speaker to get audio up there. And then again, everything's turned down and off right before we power this strip up. And then there's that and that. Now what's cool about this quad socket, it's just enough to accommodate what I need as far as power goes with this system. But if I need to plug in some other thing, whatever that may be, I can use that right there and then turn on the power strip here. So the only thing that's really left is an XLR cable that goes into the subwoofer for audio and which then sends it through the subwoofer up to the top. And of course I need to get power to this. Now, if this is close enough to the wall on the power strip, I will unvelcro this unravel it to plug it to the wall if it's really long and i have to use an extension cord sometimes i just kind of leave this rolled up right there so it's something less i got to deal with and i'll make the extension cord meet this point and everything will be powered up from there so there it is party people just a quick recap on the setup here i mean it was efficient it was fast easy to manage and really saves on time with cable management by doing this and just a pro note out there right people in weddings especially they do pay a lot of money for decorations and you don't want to be that dj with your stuff just dangling and hanging you know all over the place you should really take the time to you know tie it up a bit and i know some djs will argue against it but at g5 productions our motto is fun and professionalism and that's just what we like to give our customers now regarding the mini Kenta, back in the days I used to run like an XLR cable up as part of this harness to get it in here. But what I've decided to do uh, at some point was make this wireless. So I have power out of the back of the mini Kenta, which barrels into a DeFi hub. And then of course I need XLR out of the DeFi hub to go into the mini Kenta. So that is one of the ways that I make this wireless. The other way is if I'm not using the DeFi, I will use what's called a DeFi XLR pack, which basically there's one transmitter. It's a dongle type setup and it doesn't require power once they are charged. And of course, I just put the dongle in here which goes then into the light to make it wireless. So I have a couple of different choices and ways that I do that, depend on what's going on and what's available. But other than that, that's the setup, everybody. So let's go ahead now and break it down. So breakdown is really quite simple. And one of the first things I usually do is turn my speakers down, then off. I turn the subwoofer down and off. And then from here, I can start unplugging stuff. So to keep things really simple for me, I just unplug all this and take the speaker off the top of the pole. And then this is ready for a speaker bag. And then the next thing I'll do is unclamp the mini Kenta from the pole here and being careful not to just let this harness fall down, right? Making little knots and dings all over the place and whatever, but that's how I do it. So I'm gonna wing nut this here, kind of closed, not tight, but just closed. So the clamp's not flapping open when I put it back into the red bag. And then of course, here's my Velcro. I just grab it, undo it, store it there for temporary purposes. And then of course, down at the subwoofer, we are just unplugging from the subwoofer, the audio and the power. And from the power strip, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug everything. So what I'm doing here is I'm just preparing the strip or the system to be Velcro back together. So all I do is undo my subwoofer little knot right there. Here's the harness for the whole deal. 
So I'm going to roll that up probably a couple of times and just get it back around to where I can, you know, Velcro it all together as a system, which hints to the Velcro strap, right? So it's a good system. Everything is used. I don't have to be looking for a Velcro strap that I forgot where I put it because it's being used on the speaker pole here. The pole just simply unscrews. And now, both the subwoofer and the top speaker are ready for their prospective bags or covers. And now all I got to do is store away that mini Kenta back into the mini Kenta bag. So let's do that. So here it is, back where we started. We get the mini Kenta bag open, take all the other extra cables out of it temporarily. And then uh, what I'm going to do is take this mini Kenta here. Now I have the first one in upside down. So that means the O-clamp is towards the floor, but this next one is got to be right side up, which means the O-clamp is towards the top. And what that does is that makes them offset with everything. So the O-clamps are not damaging nothing against the back of the mini Kentas, any buttons and stuff like that. And this bag just happens to fit everything really perfectly, right? So here I'm going to take a subwoofer pack, put it on one mini Kenta. I'm going to take the other subwoofer pack and do the same thing. And of course, any extra cables and stuff, I'm just going to pick one and put it on there. Now, the other missing piece to this uh, bag right here is a roll of gaff tape, which I usually keep right here. Um, but right now it's being used for something else inside. So but just so you know. Right. So let's get this closed up and we are all packed up with this system and ready to go again i owe you guys a video someday about all the rest of the stuff in this bag but let's stick to this video for now so there it is party people i just showed you guys how i set up my subwoofer mini kenta and top speaker really fast for audio power and all that good stuff and of course the breakdown was even faster so let me know what you think about it in the comment section below in fact how do you guys set up i'm curious to know what other djs are doing out there in the industry and that's it for this video so if you found it helpful please support the channel by smashing that like button giving us a subscribe and of course if you want to keep up with all these videos all you got to do is rock that bell i'm gerald and to learn more about what we do visit www.g5productions.com let's party Mmm.